snowy night greeted the 10 race program at Rito Carlton Raceway on Sunday evening. Well, let's take a look at the action. Robbie Robinson steps in the gas and Cascada opens up again. Here comes Check the Magic. Cascada looks rock solid in the first and Cascada is a drawing off winner. Finishing second, Check the Magic for third, PC Heisenberg in two minutes and one. Number one, Cascada didn't fool anyone. He paid 290, 210, 210. Six, Check the Magic, 230, 210. Five, PC Heisenberg, 260. 1-6 exactor, 6-10. Dollar try of 1-6-5-10-75. Dollar super of 1-6-5-3-49-50. Vanilla Malted is on the outside, up to engage Big Pete Style for the lead. Stonebridge Beach is watching the battle, a fresh third, and popping to the outside with an eighth of a mile to go. Big Pete Style, Vanilla Malted. Off cover comes Stonebridge Beach coming for the payoff. Vanilla Malted has made the lead on the outside Stonebridge Beach, but it's not enough. It's Vanilla Malted and Richard Samard in front. Stonebridge Beach second, Big Pete Style held third, the mile 156 and four. Vanilla Malted, the second race winner. He's a big gelding, four years old, by Sweet Lou, out of Sun and Moon by Arts Place. Owned by Colleen and Glenn Pearson's Numbered Corporation, along with trainer John McMillan. Richard Samard for the winning drive. For Vanilla Malted, that's his 10th win of the season. He goes over 100,000 in lifetime earnings. Tonight's mile, 156 and 4. 27 and 3, 57 and 3, 127 and 1, the mile 156 and 4, Vanilla Malted and Samard in race 2. Richard's Northern Dream with the lead on the final turn, now opening up a couple of lengths on its Who You Know, The Magic of Life Needs to Find More. Rich's Northern Dream is long gone though. Rich's Northern Dream looks strong. Richard's Northern Dream by about five. Closing that gap just slightly, it's who you know. Coming for the payoff, Stefan Brasso. Rich's Northern Dream, the easiest of winners. On to be second, undercover strike was flying late. It's who you know came back to be third, the mile 202 and three. Six, Rich's Northern Dream, the winner. He's a big gelding, four years old, by Northern Bailey, out of Rich Dreams by Dream Vacation. Owned by Jamie Copley of Kenmore, Mandy Archer, the winning trainer, the winning drive to Stefan Brasso. Rich's Northern Dream, second in 11 on the season. Time for the mile, 202 and 3. 30 seconds, 101 and 4, 132, the mile, 202 and 3. Rich's Northern Dream, makes his Rito Carlton debut a winning one. Sin City Shark holding his ground, always your way. Right there second, raising a rocket looms large on the outside, sent down three wide for the stretch drive. There's an eighth of a mile to go, all eyes on raising a rocket. Richard Samard sitting statuesque in the sulky, coming for the wire. Raising a rocket wins it by a length and a half. A brave second was always your way through to be third Osiris Blue Chip in 159 and three. The fourth race winner is one raising a rocket. Baymare, six years old by Matt a Rocket out of All American Orchid by Cam Luck. Owned and trained by Robert Bernicke. Driven to victory by Richard Samard. That's the second win on today's card for Richard Samard. And guided raising a rocket to victory in 159 and 3. 28 and 1, 59 and 4. 129 and 1, the mile 159 and 3 fifths. You may have just seen the greater leave the corner of your screen. Rito Carl. On the final turn, heading into some heavy snowfall now, was Officer Jones is up into contention. Wildcat Cam has given up the lead. They're three across the track to the end. Who comes out of the snow first? Looks like Officer Jones. Officer Jones is going to win this one. Win Sun Cheyenne second. Twinby Laker third in 157 and three. Two Officer Jones wins. Big Elving, seven years old by Always a Virgin, by out of Tiber Song by Direct Scooter.
owned by the partnership of Limco Incorporated and Dr. John Tobin, Victor Putty, the winning trainer, Mary Claude Auger, the winning driver, Officer Jones in 157 and 3, 28, 58 and 1, 127 and 3, the mile 157 and 3 fifths, Officer Jones in the fifth. Levi's Day. The Roadies is live though. Backing away now is Mortgage My Villa. Watching my brother George moving very well with an eighth of a mile to go. Lil Mo Money is saving all the ground and out come the earplugs by La Chance. Levi's Day trying to get it home and he looks strong. Levi's Day up the inside. The Roadies. It's Levi's Day gutting it out to win. The Roadies finish second. My brother George third in 158 and 1. Levi's Day, the winner. He's a brown gelding, five years old by Shadow Play out of Kim's Royal Day by Royal Majesty. Owned by Bill Maines, Lloyd Stone, along with trainer Victor Putty and a numbered Canadian corporation. Mary Claude Auger, the winning driver, back to back wins for the Victor Putty Mary Claude Auger combination here at Rideau. Levi's Day in 158 and 1, 28 and 3, 59, 128 and 2, the mile 158 and 1, Levi's Day in 6th. National Debt still with a short lead. Here comes Race Him Up 3 wide. Luke and Duke begins to back away. Ashley's Best is there as well with an eighth of a mile to go. And National Debt is going to cruise to the finish. National Debt extremely strong for Barube. National Debt will win this one shut down in the end. Finishing second, Race Him Up. Third to Avatar J in 157. The winner was number six, National Debt. He's a nine-year-old bay horse by All-American Native out of Our Inheritance by Falcon Sealster. Owned by Francois Moran, trained by Yves Tessier, driven to victory by Pascal Barube. National Debt in 157, 27 and 4, 57 and 4, 127 and 2. The mile 157 flat, the 10th win of the season for number five, number six, National Debt. They're on the final turn. LMC Mass Gem is still striding strong. Past Sedina Star is second. Mr. Contestant third. Vero Amore Bai in with a shot from fourth. There's an eighth of a mile to go. LMC Mass Gem is trying to get this one home. On the outside, here comes Past Sedina Star. Late trot from Mr. Contestant on the inside. Past Sedina Star gets up in the final strides to win it. LMC Mass Gem second, Mr. Contestant third in 201. Two Pasadena Star, the winner. He's a big gelding, nine years old by Cadabra, out of Pasadena Princess by Bernd Hanover. Owned by a numbered Quebec Corporation along with Pierre Minot, Stefan Pouliot is the winning trainer and driver. Pasadena Star to his second win on the season. 201, time for the mile. 28 and 2, 1 minute and 1, 130 and 3, the mile 201 flat, Pasadena Star with Pouliot in the 8th race. On the final turn, Dylan's Bank, still the one to chase down. Larry is Deb's Rock is full in the pocket. Gen Guinness Panic is third on the outside. General Lee is moving well from fourth with an eighth of a mile to go. Watching Passionate Prince, who saved all the ground. They're coming for the payoff. They're swarming in on Dylan's Bank. On the far outside, General Lee, Dylan's Bank, General Lee. Dylan's Bank or General Lee. Dylan's Bank looked to hold off General Lee and a charging Larry is Deb's Rock in two minutes and four. Owned by Val Spar Stables of West Hill, Ontario, also the winning breeders. The winning drive to Stefan Brasseau. Dylan's Bank, his sixth win in 27 starts on the season. Tonight's mile, two minutes and four. 29 and one, 101, 130 and four. The mile, two minutes and four. Dylan's Bank and Brasseau. On the final turn, Too Much Duncan is still there. Twin B Fearless is still battling. Matt's tuition is right there along with Mock Messier as they approach the top of the lane for the final time tonight. Still many chances here. Clearing to the lead. 
That's Twinby Fearless way out on the far outside on the grandstand side. External is floating home. External comes on pass to win it. Mock Messier was second. Tight for show the mile. 202 and 2. Eight external the winner. He's a big gelding, seven years old by Western Terror out of In a Safe Place by Arts Place. Trainer driver Marie Claude Auger shares ownership with Pierre Marc Longpre. That's the third winning drive on the card for Marie Claude Auger. Externals, first win in three starts this season, 202 and 2, the season's record time. 28 seconds, 58 and 2, 129 and 3. In dramatic fashion, it was external in 202 and 2. Big Pete Style. Could not come up with win number 17. However, the big horse finished third, and next week we'll be back in action to go for win number 17. Raising a rocket, the nice mare who won the Jerome Memorial 10,000 claiming series got the win number nine on the year as she outclassed the boys again in race four. Our next live program is Thursday afternoon, first post time, four o'clock. See you later.